Hello, you guys. What is up? Welcome back. I hope everybody watching is doing well. I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves. All right, you guys, before I get started, if you're looking for a personal reading, personal readings are available in the description box. If they're out of stock, you can message me on Etsy or email me and I will set you up with something in the future. Today's pick a card, you guys, is going to be a pick a card on the brutally honest truth about the next three months, just to be clear. This is not a love reading, but if love messages come up, I will be talking about them. Um, but this reading is going to be focused on everything in general in your life. So before I show you guys the piles, this is your reminder that tarot is a divination tool. It's an intuitive practice. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, your decisions are solely based on what you believe is right. Um, so with that being said, you guys, here is a clip of your piles right now. All right, you guys, these are the three piles. We have group number one with the bumblebee jasper, group number two with the cardoline, and group number three with the star-shaped tiger's eye. If you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to that right now. If you want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. All right, you guys have now picked your pile. Please go ahead and check out my description box where I'll give you guys timestamps for when your reading will start. And with that, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's pick a card. Hello, group one. Welcome to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the zodiac dice really quick, guys. We have Leo and we have Pisces. Hello, Leo. Hello, Pisces. We have Capricorn and Gemini. Hello, Capricorn. Hello, Gemini. Scorpio and Aquarius. Um, sun, moon, rising, guys, if your sign didn't pop up, it's really not that serious. It's okay. Usually there are signs that pop up within the cards anyways. So let's start shuffling. Can I get... Okay. Can I get a message for group... All right, I love that. So here's the thing, you guys. Over the next three months, you guys are signing contracts. You guys are making commitments to something, okay? Now, because this is more so of an open-ended message, we're like, we're not talking about love. We're not talking about your career. We're not talking about your friends. We're not talking about your living situation. We're talking about all of it, right? So you need to apply this to your own life. The Hierophant is talking about signing a contract and making something official. So what you need to prepare for group one is essentially going into the next three months, knowing that you are going to be making a decision that is going to be considered official. Some of you are signing contracts. This could be a work contract. This could be a apartment contract, a living situation contract. This could be a marriage license. Um, this could be a multitude of things, but this is signing contracts, you guys, and making things official, all right? Some of you guys may be getting a new car and you're like signing a lease. Some of you... <laughs> Some of you guys are getting, this is so stupid. Some of you guys are getting another credit card or you're opening a line of credit. Shh. Okay, others of you are choosing to go back to some type of religious structure, some type of religious practice that you had previously. And I don't mean you're abandoning your current religious practices or spiritual practices, but it almost feels like some of you are returning to like meditation or yoga or something like this, okay? It's like a return of something that you used to do that was really helpful and grounding. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys are gonna be a bit on the defensive side as well over the next three months. Um, this could be seen as like defending your home, defending your relationship, defending a friendship, defending your child, if you have children, defending your position, okay? Now, I don't know if this is rational or irrational, only you guys are gonna know that. Some people react in a very abrasive manner for absolutely no reason and others, you know, it's called for. So I don't know why you are reacting this way, but there's going to be a situation that occurs that is calling for you or that is going to invoke a really irritable, agitated reaction towards somebody who you feel like is attacking you or somebody who you feel like is not having your best interest at heart, okay? Now there is Venus retrograde, you guys. 
going on at the time in which this is being uploaded so i don't know if this is like your current partner's ex is popping up and causing a nuisance in the relationship and you feel like the need to defend the relationship or if this is one of your exes popping up and being freaking annoying here's the thing regardless there's defensive energy in the next three months okay we also have pettiness all right here's the thing guys disengage disengage with pettiness disengage with arguments disengage in anything that is a lose-lose situation because at the end of the day all we have is time right at the end of the day we are here for such a short amount of time and if we're not living life in a manner that's making us happy then it's like what's the freaking point like literally what is the point all right um don't engage in things that are draining don't engage in conversations that are annoying to have i had a conversation today that was literally so incredibly draining and pointless and by the time i got off i was like why did i do that why like why am i trying to protect somebody else's feelings by engaging in a pointless conversation and i'm wasting my time i'm i literally wasted i'm not going to specify the amount of time but um an amount of time that i will never get back because i didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings that is dumb all right you guys disengage with things that are draining you that is what i want to say disengage with things that are draining you or things that are making you feel depleted okay we also have the nine of pentacles so financially i would see this as things going really well perhaps some of you are getting an increase or you are asking for an increase in pay maybe some of you guys are receiving a loan or help in regards to your finances um Ooh, okay, some of you may be receiving help in regards to paying off a loan or paying off some type some type of debt. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, there's also okay. It's not like you're literally switching careers, but it feels like you are in a new environment that is more lucrative. Okay, some of. Mm, okay i'm trying to avoid the relationship stuff some of you are going to be going on a date with somebody who is they got the money they got the change okay um and others of you i feel like you may be receiving some type of gift that you're like oh this is too much like don't do that this is like too much don't you don't need to do this so that is something that is also occurring and then we got the empress okay and the empress you guys is just talking about an energy that is very feminine and soft and i know people get annoyed when i talk about like femininity and masculinity however that's what this card is there's no changing the definition of this card um it is what it is this is feminine energy this is creative energy all right so a lot of you are going to have your creative juices invoked inspired for some of you it could be because oftentimes i do see this as being treated as the empress i don't believe that to be the empress i believe that you have to be perceived that way right versus being an emperor it's something that you're physically doing but the empress is more of a perception the empress is more of like you are perceived through this creative lens you're perceived through this divine feminine lens okay again this is also talking about money so there could be an increase in your guys's finances it could be through a creative endeavor or something that you are pursuing creatively the empress is also talking about children so i don't know if you guys are finding out you're pregnant in the next three months or if any of you guys are giving birth in the next three months literally that may be the case for some of you if it's not like a baby like a human baby you guys you like you don't need to take that literally it could be that you're giving birth to something that is not like human you could be giving birth to a project you could give, be giving birth to um perhaps opening a business or wanting to go to school starting a new idea right starting a new hobby okay mm. i really feel like some of you guys are getting a puppy and i feel like you are in contacts it's not coming off to me as like we're adopting a puppy and i don't want to hear it in the comments about adopting versus going to a breeder because Cena's here has adopted okay i don't thackeray is adopted he was a street cat anyways i'm seeing some of you quite literally like talking to a breeder and then like the day your puppy is born you're in contacts with the breeder and you're like going back and forth about the puppy and i know that's really specific and weird but i feel like there's somebody here who is getting a puppy and you're like in very close contact with the breeder 
Okay, there's also, this is so weird that the Empress is giving me so much right now. There's also an energy of like wanting to reorganize or I don't know if it's like a relocation, but it feels like reorganization or like a refreshing of your living space, your living environment, okay? I don't know if this is coming in the form of new decor or if this is coming in the form of potentially um, like literally just rearranging things, changing your aesthetic, but it's feeling like something aesthetically maybe changing for some of you, perhaps even physically, but it feels like I feel drawn to the home. Okay moving forward can i get a message for group number one okay i love this this is practice self-love practice self freaking love you guys okay paint your toes give yourself a scalp massage drink some nice herbal tea listen to some calming music okay eat a slice of cake self-love all right guys now obviously those do not have to be things that you do for self-love um i was just giving you examples of things i like to do for self-love so you apply that to yourself because you are an individual and what makes you feel loved is going to be different than what makes becky feel loved it's going to be different from what makes cena's feel loved so you do what makes you feel loved whether that is going to the gym whether that is going out and getting a margarita whether that is jumping in some water <laughs> practice self-love though over the next three months it's going to be really important and i feel like the reason it's going to be important you guys is again because it does seem like there's some turbulence here with your outside relationships um we have learned through this some of you are studying really hard over the next three months perhaps you are cramming for an exam wait where are we at we are in the end of july oh oh my god some of you guys are going back to school yay okay um so studying really hard spending a lot of time and effort reading or again like studying for a test or whatever it is you do in school i haven't been in school in a minute so i don't it's not my life not my journey but congratulations to all of you who are on this journey for others of you this could be literally learning through like a difficult lesson in your life i don't know if this is somebody who or if this is like a lesson through another person, or if this is a lesson through a mistake that you have made. Um, some of you, this could even be like reading. Maybe you're reading more books. I know for me, that is a personal goal of my own. Um, over the next few months, I wanna make sure I can get a few more books in my completed pile. <laughs> okay, let's go fly a kite. Can I get a message? Oh my God. we've got support and it says ask for help get more rest nurture yourself baby all right nurture yourself so don't be afraid to ask for help guys don't be afraid to ask for support don't let your pride get in your way if you feel like you are struggling mentally emotionally financially don't be afraid to ask for help from those around you who love you um i feel like there's always resources available oh my gosh it's that hogwarts quote that dumbledore quote what is it <laughs> it's like help will always be provided at hogwarts for those who ask or something like that i don't know guys again that's also been a minute point is ask for support ask for help okay we have expansion and this says spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light show the world what you're made of so some of you are growing and expanding and i'm thinking that this has a lot to do with financially or it has to do with the moves that you are making in your life some of you are moving away some of you again are going to university some of you are choosing to take on a challenge or some type of goal that is going to be seen as abnormal um and this is going to oh maybe that's leading to the jealousy right as we grow and expand the people who we leave behind the people who are not growing and expanding there's definitely potential there for jealousy so that makes sense with that um but yeah some of you guys are taking on things that others are going to see as like oh my god i can't believe you're doing that i can't believe you're moving across the country i can't believe you are going to university to go freaking become a lawyer i can't believe that you're adopting a baby <laughs> I can't believe you're fostering kittens something like this guys okay it doesn't need to literally be the things i just named these are just again examples but you are growing and expanding in ways that i think that others are going to take notice of 
We've got growth as well. And this says seek a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Okay, so for those of you who have not read Atomic Habits, um, and you have a difficult time getting motivated or getting yourself started on something, I want to recommend the book to you, Atomic Habits, okay? I feel like everybody and their grandmother has read this book. However, if you have not, I would encourage you to do so um, because 100% like baby steps are still steps forward and growth is still, no matter how small, it's still growth. Um, and the more you can consistently take those baby steps forward, the more you can consistently grow, even if it's small and tiny, minute, um, eventually that is going to stack up and amount to something really substantial, you guys. So I love that growth and expansion some of you may even literally be seeking out a mentor or seeking out somebody to take inspiration from i'm someone who doesn't believe that like originality is something that exists so there's no shame in pulling inspiration from somebody else because nothing is original anymore um and you can argue that if you want but i feel like genuinely genuinely originality is is a very I mean, even things that are original are not really original. If you guys have been on TikTok and you've seen the like, um, the, the NPR, the NPRs, the freaking, you guys know what I'm talking about with the like, yum, yum, yum. Okay, you guys, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If not, then never mind. But the point is, even that's not original, right? Because you're getting that from a video game. So it's like, it's original, but it's not original. So there's nothing original anymore, you guys. The point is, don't be afraid to take inspiration from other people. <laughs> Um, we have strength and this says, uh, this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. I'm sorry. I'm still, gosh. Okay. Strength. Here's the thing, right? Based on the cards that are here, you guys, I don't think that the challenge that is presenting itself over the next three months is a challenge that's necessarily difficult. It seems more like I'm a little scared. I'm a little spooked. Um, again, it's some, it's giving me the energy of like going away for university and it's like, I'm living away from my parents. I'm scared. Or again, like embarking on a journey that is a bit spooky. Perhaps you guys are looking into buying a house or starting a new career or going in a different direction. You're take you're growing, right? Even small things, even again, small steps can be a bit scary. So I'm seeing the strength more so as an encouragement to overcome certain anxieties. It's not feeling so much like an actual challenge, like something that's awful, but it's feeling more so like overcoming anxieties or worries or fears, okay? Can I get a mess? Okay. Love it. Mars, force. Mars is saying get up. Mars says get up and go. Take action, move forward. Okay, all this sitting around stuff is not it. All this sitting down and waiting for life to happen is not it. You better get up and start moving. Get up and start making life happen. You've been wanting to start that TikTok account. You've been wanting to start that YouTube channel. Get up, go do it, okay? Stop sitting around. You've been wanting to write that book, start writing. Do not sit around and wait for life to happen to you. You need to make life happen. That is what Mars is saying. That's not me, that's Mars. We have the sixth house of routine. Okay, so again, going back to the growth, you guys, if you want to see growth in your life group one, guess what? You're the only person who can make that happen for yourself. So you want a boyfriend? Okay, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna make that happen? Let's sit down, make a game plan. How are we gonna make that happen? You want a new job that's gonna pay you better? Sit down, how are we gonna make that happen? What are we gonna do? What are the actual practical steps that we can do every single day to make this happen, okay? If you want to change, and I know it's hard, okay? We're not gonna sit here and pretend like it's easy. We're not gonna sit here and pretend like this is an easy, simple, like, oh, let me just get up and do it. No, it's not easy, but that's the point. Like, it's not supposed to be easy, you guys. If it was easy, then you would have already done it. So that thing that you have been holding back on, that thing that you've been like, oh, I don't want to do that. Start taking baby steps. Start taking baby steps. And you know what? I will join you in this. There are things that I've been putting off as well that I need to get done. So I will join you in this group, number one. If you guys pledge to do this, I will do this with you. We have the North Node as well, and this is life's purpose. 
Okay, so here's the thing, guys. You are the only person on planet Earth who has the ability to determine what your life purpose is because you're the only person living and experiencing your human experience. If you want to find your life purpose, you have to seek it. If you want to find what is meant for you in this lifetime, you have to seek it. It's not going to hit you on the head, right? Here's the thing. Your life is like a movie. Our life is like a movie, okay? And we are all main characters in our own movie. And the thing is, if the main character is just gonna sit around and not go out and make things happen for themselves, right? How, how, how are we, how is the main character supposed to find the storyline, the plot? The plot's not gonna, like what, there's nothing taking place if we're not actively going out and seeking it, if we're not actively moving forward, right? So when it comes to the North Node and our life purpose, essentially this is asking you to move towards what it is you're feeling called towards. And if you don't feel called towards anything, then do something, do anything, okay? And keep doing that until you find something that sticks, but you're never gonna find it if you don't try anything, right? If you don't put yourself in uncomfortable situations. The North Node can tend to be a bit uncomfortable because it's something that we are, right? It's like a goal, it's like a, it's a it's the end of the destination it's like where we are working towards okay or what we are working towards can i get look at that south node north node and the south node do not let your past hold you back okay this is with love this is with money for those of you who grew up in poverty, do not allow that to make you think that you don't have the ability to create financial stability for yourself. I know for me, I grew up in a really unstable household and there was a lot of financial issues and I grew up thinking that life was so hard and not to say that life is easy because life can definitely present itself with challenges. But I definitely do believe that the people who raised me made life a lot harder than it needed to be based on the fact that they could not break their own patterns from their childhood right so don't let your past hold you back don't let somebody else's experience make you think that that's going to be your experience <sighs> some of you there is potentially someone from your past who is returning who you need to let go of and you know you need to let go of and perhaps you even believe that you're ready to let go of them and then when they come back it's almost like they hook you back in don't even answer the call don't answer the text don't answer the dm delete it pretend like you didn't see it i did not see that okay the end of a tough cycle approaches this is a full moon in capricorn so for those of you who have worked hard for those of you who have worked towards your goals you are being rewarded you need to know that the end of a tough cycle is approaching we have nothing will come of the situation. Some of you are pouring into a bucket that has a hole in the bottom of it. Okay, you need to identify what is draining you. You need to identify what is no longer, sorry, what is no longer serving you. Because again, some of you are pouring into a bucket that has a hole in it and it's draining you. Either you're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy. You need to identify those things, those people in your life and you need to disconnect. You are very close to achieving your goals. So this is, I think, confirmation with the whole the end of a tough cycle is approaching. You're very close to achieving what it is that you have worked towards. Final message. Can I get a card for group? I don't remember, I believe I got this in a personal reading a few days ago, but I love this card. Creating through the ashes, okay, you guys? This is essentially like a phoenix card. Rising up from the ashes and starting again, creating something beautiful out of destruction, out of pain, out of hurt, out of disappointment. Um, turning your lemons into lemonade, that is what this is talking about. So. 
here's the message for you guys, the brutally honest truth that's taking, the brutally honest truth you guys need to hear about the next three months. Um, the next three months is going to require a lot of work, a lot of effort. I feel like over the next three months, you guys are gonna have to make commitments that may be a bit scary. I do believe there's gonna be a lot of growth and a lot of evolution for many of you over the next three months as well. Again, this is going to be scary. Go forward anyways. Do not allow your fear to hold you back. I do believe that is what the South Node is. We hold on to our past because it's familiar. So allowing yourself to experience the fear and moving forward regardless. Um, some of you guys, again, are going back to university or you're starting university <clears throat> some of you guys are learning through relationship problems and you're finding new ways to handle issues within the relationships that you have both romantic and platonic and i feel like a lot of you need to again like the next few months i think it's important for you guys to take action and to move forward okay do not wait for life to happen and again the whole like pouring into a bucket with a hole in it, make sure that where you are focusing your energy is actually something that's going to benefit you long-term and not something you're just wasting your time and energy on. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys, group number one. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to read for you. If you guys are looking for a personal reading, I have personal readings available in the description box. If they're out of stock, message me and I will set something up for you in the future. Thank you, group number one. I love you and I'm wishing you the best of luck over the next few months. It seems like everything's okay for the most part. It seems like everything's okay. There's just a lot of, it feels like growing pains essentially, but that's what I have. Thank you. I love you and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay, bye. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the dice. We have Taurus and Leo. Hello, Taurus. Hello, Leo. Scorpio and Virgo. Hello, Scorpio. Hello, Virgo. Aries. Just Aries. Right, you guys. Sun. Sun moon rising. All right. So let's get started with the cards. <clears throat> Can I get a message for group two? That's quite a few. What do we have? The Hermit, the High Priestess, the King, ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. One more, the Tower. Okay, well, group two, this is gonna be a bit of a heavier reading. If you're not in the mood for a heavy reading, dismiss yourself now. <sighs> You know, the reason why I give these disclaimers, you guys, is because there are people who comment and they get very angry when they receive heavier readings. So I like to just give warnings, you know, like go if you can't handle it. If you can't take the heat, you know, anyways, <laughs> let me get a focus on the card. Okay, so the first card you guys have is the Hermit. This is Virgo Energy, group number two. This is also talking essentially about an energy of isolation, being lonely, all right? So for those of you who've experienced loneliness or who are currently experiencing loneliness, I would see this as a continuation of that loneliness. For those of you who perhaps have been feeling like you need time to like rest and recharge by yourself, I would see this as that coming. Um, essentially with the hermit, you guys, I see this overall as an energy of spending time alone, being lonely, also doing a lot of inner work, doing a lot of shadow work, perhaps. Um, I'm actually, you know, because we're talking about shadow work, um, I was going to pull from a shadow work deck, but I do not want to have to pull the cards out. Anyways, they're all stacked on top of each other and I don't want anything to fall. Anyways. Perhaps I'll do that at the end. We have the High Priestess, all right? And the High Priestess, I have to start this over. <laughs> all right, group two, so sorry about that. I had to go and find the Shadow Work deck. I wanna go ahead and get a Shadow Work card for this Hermit. We have shame and it says, you are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for, for not giving yourself enough self-love. Gonna pull another one. Can I please get a shadow work card to confirm? We have codependency. It says, "Is this relation? Is this a relationship addiction?" Ariana Grande. Just kidding. <laughs> you are relying too heavily on another person for yourself, for your sense of self worth. Give yourself more self love. You guys, we love ponytails, so don't come at me. Anyways, 
codependency. Some of you may be a wee bit codependent. Um, and again, like this isn't anything to be ashamed of guys. This isn't anything to be like, oh my gosh, I'm a bad person. This doesn't make you a bad person because you want to be loved because you want to be, have somebody around you, right? However, um, this could cause issues and struggles for you and your personal life, right? So addressing this may be very beneficial while you are in this hermit energy. Can I get another card? Okay, this is the last one. We have envy. Remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate other successes. You truly are good enough. Okay. So those could be the shadow work things that you are working on over this time of being alone, over this time of being isolated during this hermit energy. We have the high priestess here, you guys, and the high priestess is talking about wisdom. All right. She's also talking about duality. So I want you guys to know that over the next three months, things aren't going to be easy. There's going to be some darkness. There's going to be some good days. There's going to be some bad days. That's life. Um, it is what it is. There may also be opportunities for you to learn. There may also be opportunities for you to grow. There may be opportunities for you to experience um, a heightened sense of knowledge even. Some of you guys may be receiving clarity on certain things in your life as well. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're moving forward with intention. You are tackling your problems intentionally and with a lot of consistency, okay? Now you may not... Okay, some... Oh, okay. Some of you, this is like so random, but some of you are struggling with like keeping your life together. And when I say keeping your life together, I mean like your house is a mess. You have like mail stacked up to the freaking roof. You have this you need to get done. You have that you need to get done and you're putting everything off. And I feel like over the next three months, this is going to be a time period in which you can deal with all of these like things in your life that you've been meaning to get to, that you've been needing to do. And you're going to address them one by one, perhaps in a consistent and slow manner. For some of you, this could even be you going after financial abundance or trying to create financial abundance in a consistent, slow manner as well. And we have the tower. All right. And the tower, you guys, is essentially destruction. It's chaos. Now, I personally believe the tower is simply an opportunity for us to grow. I believe it's simply an opportunity for, for us to expand and to experience life, um, experience love, experience work, experience just overall like your life in a better setting. Like I feel like this is essentially telling you that the setting, the place in which you are at, it's not productive for you to move forward. It's not productive for you to produce anything that's gonna be of value to you in your life long term. So I look at the tower as an opportunity to grow and to get better. It's an opportunity to let go of something that is trash. It's an opportunity to let go of something that is rotting. It's an opportunity to let go of something that you may be very attached to, but and you don't have the capacity or the understanding that it's not good for you, right? It's like a child. It's like a child when a child is like, can I have candy for dinner? And you're like, no, you can't have candy for dinner. Like I love you and I want you to be well nourished and I want you to, um, have the nutrients that you need for your body to grow healthy and strong. But a child doesn't understand that, right? A child doesn't understand that when you're saying no, like you can't have candy or no, you need to like do this or do that. Like you're trying to protect them. You're trying to do what's best for them. And that is essentially what the tower is, right? It's like the parent coming in and saying like, you can't eat candy for dinner. You're going to get sick and it's not going to be good for you. And I know you want to. And I know right now in this time frame, you think that's what's best for you. You think that's what is going to be what's going to make you happy but ultimately it's not so i'm going to take this candy away from you because at the end of the day it's going to make you sick and it's going to prevent you from again receiving the nutrients that you need that is the energy of the tower sorry guys can i get a message we have the ace of cups this is an overflow of emotion all right, so this is not good or bad. A lot of people will say this is like a positive thing. This could honestly be you crying at 12 o'clock at night because your toothbrush stopped <laughs> charging or it could be that you are hungry and you're wanting 
to DoorDash something, but DoorDash is the, what you're wanting to DoorDash is closed, right? It could be something silly, it could be a breakup, it could be potentially receiving some really positive news. It could be this tower, right? The tower could be invoking this strong emotion. So just prepare to have an emotional next three months. We have the Knight of Swords. This is fast moving energy going towards something that we're really ambitious about and excited about. Okay. Can I have a message for group two? Okay. So we have life-giving energy here with the sun, right? The sun represents quite literally life-giving energy, very exhilarating energy. So you guys may be feeling re-inspired or you may feel like you have had energy literally infused into your bones. We also have the water element of sensing. So your intuition may be heightened over the next three months. It may also be possible that you guys, and I'm not trying to be mean, all right? Not trying to be mean. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm a cancer. I got a lot of cancer placements, a lot of water placements. I'm very sensitive, okay? I am very snippety and snappity, okay? So please don't take this the wrong way, but you guys may be very much in the energy of reacting, very emotionally hyperbolic, okay? You may be experiencing things in your life that maybe aren't that serious or that aren't a big deal but you're reacting in a very volatile or hostile way um your emotions may be leading the show over the next three months and hey that is okay like i just said i am very watery okay so i am not speaking bad about emotions or even being emotionally like prickly i think everyone needs to have moments like this so we have Venus as well, and this is love. Venus is connected to beauty, abundance, love, relationships, right? So when this comes up, you guys, it is very possible that you're experiencing more love or perhaps you guys are experiencing transformation and change in your, lo in your love life because we do have that tower here. Um, but this could also be really positive, right? So experiencing more loving moments with the people who are already currently in your life. Now, it could also be somebody new is coming in. For most of you, I would see this as an increase of love or an increase of support from the people who you do love that are already a part of your life. Okay. I have a message for group two. Go with the flow. So your message group two over the next three months is essentially just go with the flow. Like don't resist, don't fight. Um, surrender, essentially. The cards want you to surrender. Spirit wants you to surrender. When we try to control things, I feel like that creates more resistance. So in surrendering, you are allowing space for surprises you're allowing space for growth you're allowing space for something beautiful to take place we also have express yourself more clearly okay so expressing yourself perhaps some of you are going to take up painting perhaps some of you are going to take up some type of artistic endeavor to help release or express yourself on an emotional level because again i do believe that there's going to be an emotional purging for a lot of you over the next three months I think this purging is going to be very productive in regard to you guys moving forward in a healthy manner, but it's it it's going to be messy, I feel like, over the next three months with your emotions, which is okay. Um, be patient with yourself. But with this, I want to see this as essentially you guys learning how to communicate your emotions in a very effective style, in a style that is not going to be taken in a style that is going to be received, I feel like, in a very neutral manner, right? Okay. Can I have a message 
we have new romantic cycles begins. I know this is not a love reading, you guys, but this is what's coming up. So a new romantic cycle is beginning for some of you. And I find that interesting, again, because we do have the Venus card and the Venus card is obviously representing new cycles of love or not new cycles necessarily, but like cycles of love happening, occurring. We also have nothing is yet set in stone. This is always the case. So some of you need to hear that. Some of you need to hear that nothing is set in stone. Although this is the case with every reading that you have ever received in the history of you experiencing tarot nothing is ever set in stone you guys okay so do keep that in mind we have two new moons in fire signs um so we have luck is on your side a new moon in saggy and then we have it's time to take action a new moon in aries so obviously you guys this is an encouragement for you to take action to go after what you want to keep your eye on the prize i'm not feeling like there's a brutal message here right it's feeling like a lot of being alone dealing with something that's falling apart that we're sad about but ultimately experiencing a new cycle that seems really productive. So it's like, I don't feel like there's a brutal part of this message necessarily. Can I get... We have friendship. It says, seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. Okay, so perhaps this is an encouragement for you guys to get out of that hermit mode. For those of you who have done the inner work and you feel like you're still isolated, you're still stuck, this is an encouragement for you to get out. This is an encouragement for you to expand, to grow, to go see the freaking world, to make friends, to socialize, right? To live life. Don't spend your life being alone. We are humans. We are supposed to be around other people. So get out. <laughs> We have dance here as well, and it says move your body to the music, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. All right, manifest your dreams through dance, group number two. This is just saying have fun with your manifestation. Stop taking it so, don't make it a drag, don't make it annoying, don't make it a work to go manifest, you guys. Don't make it this like, oh my gosh, I have to go do this and that don't make it stressful if you're making your manifestation process stressful what is that telling to the, what is that saying what is that saying you guys if you are stressed out about your manifestations or if you're stressed out about your process to manifest what message is that sending right and then we have goddess here and this says honor your divine feminine energy see your inner beauty love every part of you babe love every part of you accept yourself see yourself as divine there's not there's really not much to say i feel like on this reading in general i feel like for a lot of you this is more so like the next three months is about shadow work and dealing with your emotions and learning how to deal with your emotions learning to release learning to potentially honor yourself a little bit more but it's not feeling like there's anything that's overwhelming that's like stressful i mean i know the tower is here but this again it, it feels more so like an energy of like i love you and i want what's best for you so i'm taking this away from you because it's not good for you um so i don't know there doesn't again doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff going on for you guys over the next few months which may be really positive that you guys kind of get a break we have receive and it says be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon some of you guys may be literally receiving a physical gift if that's the case congratulations um, but yeah, this is just essentially talking about being ready and open to receive. And that is why you guys going with the flow and surrendering is so important, right? If we're not open to flow, if we are not surrendering to the outcome, if we're not open to the endless possibilities that the universe has for us, then like, how can we possibly be ready to receive? Okay, let's do, 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 do. Can I get a message for group? We have ancestors. The love and legacy of our DNA. 
the love and legacy of our DNA. You guys, some of you are healing ancestral patterns or ancestral, that's the word, patterns. Um, and I think that's what this hermit energy was talking about in the beginning. And again, I think a lot of you have already faced that. A lot of you already faced the tower. And I feel like the next three months is, again, more so talking about how we're going to regulate our emotions moving forward, how we're going to better express ourselves in a productive manner that's effective. But I feel like a lot of this reading has a lot to do with you surrendering and kind of like breathing out after a difficult time, being like, okay, or it's like going for a long run or a jog and then coming back and like taking that moment to like really breathe deep, drink some water, take a break. And that's really what the next three months feels like. Um, learning to cope, learning to slow our breath down and really be intentional about what we're doing in our day to day. But again, there's nothing here that feels overly dramatic, which I think is great. Um, so again, the love and the legacy of the DNA, I think this is talking about breaking ancestral patterns. And I feel like, again, a lot of you have already done this. We have Apple and this is risk and reward, risk and reward. So everything that we do in life guys comes with a risk and comes with a reward, right? And we have to outweigh what is the risk and what is the reward? Um, for example, you, let's say you're, you're wanting to go to university. What are you risking? You're risking being in debt. What is the reward? Having a high paying job, right? Now it's not guaranteed that you're gonna have that, but it's, you know, a potential reward. So make sure group number two, that over the next three months that you are really weighing out your risk versus your reward, all right? Because again, every decision we make in life, there's a risk and there's a reward. Every, it goes down to everything. And I would give examples, but I don't wanna like upset anybody or say anything that's gonna make people feel sensitive but everything is risk and reward so keep that in mind over the next three months and be really intentional and thoughtful about what it is that you're putting your energy towards but overall you guys if i'm just being honest like your life over the next three months feels like a lot of like dealing with things that have already taken place for a lot of you and learning how to express ourselves effectively to deal with our emotions in an effective manner and that is really all i'm getting for you guys um some of you need to be ready to receive some of you need to have more fun and enjoy life a little bit more be a little more playful perhaps connect with friends or go out and create more friends i know that's easier said than done um some of you are going to be experiencing new love over the next three months. I don't feel like that's all of you here, but I do feel like there's a group of people here who will be experiencing new love because again, we have Venus and the Libra new moon. So yeah, guys, that is what I have for you, group number two. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to read for you today. I really do appreciate it. I'm sending you guys so much love and that is all I got. So bye. Hello, group three. This is a different day surprise um i was so exhausted doing trying to do your reading yesterday and i was like this isn't fair to group three so let me like take a nap come back tomorrow so that's what we're here for all right let's get into it oh first hold the dice libra and scorpio hello libra hello scorpio welcome to your reading scorpio gemini hello scorpio hello gemini Libra and Aquarius. Hello, Libra. Hello, Aquarius. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, all right. Can I please get a message for group three in regards to the brutally honest truth about the next three months? What's happening for group three in the next three months? This is the hanged man group three. This is referencing a lack of momentum, a lack of movement forward. Perhaps, hold on. Perhaps some of you are struggling with breaking certain patterns or certain habitual um, like mindsets. Uh, I feel like, okay. The way that I'm seeing this come up, it's feeling like some of you keep digging yourself out of this hole and you like take a step forward and you're like, I'm doing so much better. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And then you fall back into the hole or you fall back into the pattern. Um, 
So perhaps over the next few months, we need to focus on that and address that. We have the five of wands group number three. Now the five of wands is talking about an energy that is competitive and aggressive. I oftentimes associate this with Mars. With this card group three, I think it's imperative that you guys are not fighting against yourselves, okay? Usually when this card comes up, I see this as fighting with somebody else or feeling like we are in competition with other people. However, group three for you, you are fighting with yourself and I'm gonna need you to reevaluate how to approach yourself, how to how to speak to yourself, how to love yourself. Um, it's almost feeling like, and you know what? You're not gonna view it this, this way or not all of you are gonna view it this way, but it's almost like you are literally feeding yourself things that are making you sick. And I don't mean like food, guys, okay? I'm, I'm talking about feeding yourself, I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about, the media you're consuming. I'm talking about the people you're hanging around. I'm talking about your mindset. It feels very toxic. It feels very, very toxic. And it feels like it's like we're perpetuating our own pain. We're perpetuating our own anger. And there is a need, you guys, to readjust this. Stop beating up on yourself, group three. <sighs> okay. I think some of you guys need to ask for help. We have this three of pentacles. This is talking about working with other people. And usually I see this as in a workplace environment. And for some of you, that may be the case where you need to be more open to having people around you who love you and who want to help you. Um, it could be working well with your coworkers. But for a lot of you, again, I feel like this is a need for you to ask for help, for you to reach out and say, I need help. There is no shame in needing help, guys. Okay, I don't care what anybody on the rest of the earth tells you. There's never any shame in asking for help. There's ne never any shame for saying, hey, like I can't do this on my own. I can't mentally do this on my own. I can't physically do this on my own. I need help, okay? <sighs> for some of you, this is an encouragement to get out and socialize more. We have the Ace of Pentacles as well. So a lot of you are going to be receiving an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to, <clears throat> an opportunity that you guys are going to view as abundant, an opportunity that you're going to view as like not once in a lifetime, but a more rare opportunity, okay? This could have to do with your finances because obviously the Pentacle cards are connected to finances, but this could also have to do with like a, an event of some sorts. I don't, honestly guys, <laughs> This is gonna be so silly, but the first thing that popped into my mind when I'm like bringing up the events is like the Taylor Swift concert, the Eras tour. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are planning on going to that, if any of you have recently gone, but there's giving, I ha there's this energy of like a really rare event coming up that you are viewing as like, I feel so lucky that I get to go do this. And for others of you, this could have to do with work and making changes in work or letting go of certain ideas that aren't working for you and saying, hey, I need to pull inspiration from elsewhere. I need to ask for help. And then also engaging in this energy of like, I'm going to take the opportunities that are being presented. We've got judgment. All right, guys, judgment. So with judgment showing up, group number two, group number two, <laughs> group number three, this is talking about standing up for your moral compass, standing up for what it is that you believe in. Um, not folding, right? It's like, I'm not gonna fold when it comes to my morals, when it comes to my standards. Hmm. King of Wands, this is charisma and feeling really outgoing, okay? Perhaps some of you are feeling motivated to put yourself out there in a more significant manner. We have death here. All right, and I love this specific depiction of death because I think this is the most authentic version of the death, like the actual definition of this card, you guys, when we're talking about the traditional definition of death in tarot, it is more so in alignment with this depiction than I think almost any other depiction. 
this is literally a phoenix being reborn this is a phoenix saying you know what i am i'm coming out of the ashes okay that is what this phoenix is representing in group number three i think it's so important that you guys look at this next chapter as something that is beautiful that is something to be grateful for um i feel like for a lot of you this death is something you've already went through you've this death is in the past it's not feeling like something that's necessarily present um but I, some of you may still have this like residual hurt or this residual like, did I do the right thing? I'm scared about moving forward. I want you guys to know that this next chapter is the most abundant chapter of your life, is the most happy chapter of your life. Like you are going to be experiencing so much happiness, so much love, such a renewed sense of life in general. And I think it's also so interesting the colors that I picked for this reading. I wasn't expecting this to correlate, but I feel like this is playing really nicely with this card right here. And I think that this card, this death card is the centerpiece of your reading group three over the next three months i think it's so important that you embrace that death that you went through and step into that new version of yourself or this new version of yourself i should say okay can i please Capricorn. Okay, so you guys need to prepare to work hard, group three. All right, prepare to work really hard. And I know not all of you want to hear that. And I get it, right? Working hard. We all just want to be delicate little flowers. I get it. But I do believe over the next three months, if you guys are wanting to take advantage of these opportunities that are being presented to you, you're going to have to work. It's almost like... Hold on, let me... It's almost giving me this vibe of yes... You are going to achieve your goals. You are going to reach the top of that mountain. But like, you have to climb the mountain. I'm not going to just float you up to the mountain, right? So a lot of you are facing certain challenges over the next three months. Or a lot of you are facing the fact that you have things that you need to tackle. Things in your day-to-day -day that need to be, I don't want to say observed, but like dealt with and acknowledged, okay? Okay. And it feels, again, it feels like things have piled up over time. It feels like things that we kept going like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start Monday. I'll start next week. And we keep pushing it. And it's like, no, 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 no. We need to deal with it right now. Like it needs to be dealt with. Okay. I said this with the five of wands, guys. Mars. Mars is here. Mars is here. Okay. Mars energy. The the message for you guys, group three, it, it's a lot about movement. It's a lot about taking action. And the reason why I feel like that is, is because we have this hanged man here. And this hanged man, you guys, is worse than a death sentence. The idea of being stuck and stagnant and never evolving and never changing, this is worse than a death sentence. You might as well spend the rest of your literal life in prison, okay? And I'm not trying to be dramatic, but for you, for your life to have a lack of movement, to have a lack of evolution, this is literally the same thing as being in jail. This is literally the same thing as being locked up, okay? And I feel like that is why this message of like needing to stop being your enemy, needing to stop beating up on yourself, needing to stop poisoning your body. And again, when I'm saying poisoning your body, guys, I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about like media we're consuming i'm talking about our thoughts we need to stop poisoning ourselves with that and i feel like again if this action is taken if we embrace this transformation of the death like we have these opportunities we have these opportunities to work with people we have these opportunities to grow we have these opportunities to bring in the abundance that we desire we have this opportunity to even stand up for ourselves right to stand in alignment with what it is that we believe in, you guys. This is a blessing. This is not something everybody gets to do. Not There are so many people in this world, you guys, who do not get to stand in alignment with their moral compass, with their moral belief system. And if you have the ability to do that, you are so incredibly lucky because there are people who cannot do that. So I'm seeing this as you almost recognizing the fact that like, I need to take advantage of the opportunities that I have. I need to take advantage of how lucky I am in this moment. And if you don't feel like you're lucky right now, the fact that you're able to breathe the fact that you're able to walk the fact that you're able to talk the fact that you're able to drink water eat like that is something to be grateful for okay guys can i get a message 
patience. We have patience, awareness, and expansion. Okay. Um, so I'll start with patience and it says, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient whilst you wait. Be patient whilst you wait. Okay. So some of you have really big dreams. Some of you have really big goals. Some of you guys have really big desires. And I think that it's so important that you are patient when it comes to that. And you are putting in consistent energy and consistent effort towards your dreams, towards your goals, towards your desires. Okay. I feel like a lot of people have a desire for something or have a dream, have a goal, have an aspiration, and they put in a little bit of effort. And if they don't see results immediately, they give up. And I feel like this card is encouraging you to still enjoy your life while you are waiting for what it is that you want to come in we have awareness and this says live in the moment be conscious of your thoughts look for signs and guidance be conscious of your thoughts i feel like that is a really important message for you guys group number three be conscious of your thoughts because your thoughts create your reality okay so be conscious of what it is that you are thinking and that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you can never have a negative thought. That is so toxic. People who go, oh my gosh, you can never have, it. like that is so freaking toxic. Stop, get a grip, Rebecca. But it's so important that you make a conscious effort to try to be more positive, to try to have positive and productive thoughts. Because if you wallow in your misery, if you wallow in your dark thoughts, you're gonna stay there, okay? We have expansion as well. And this, said, this says, spread your wings and shh spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light show the world what you are made of okay so you guys are meant to expand over this next three months and those of you who take advantage of this time are going to be the ones to do it and those of you who choose to sit back and do nothing you're not going to render these results but for those of you who are getting up and taking this action you are going to see an extreme amount of expansion taking place in your life for some of you i feel like Okay, just gonna be super transparent. I'm not feeling like for most of you, this has to do with love. I feel like for 90% of you, this has to do with your money, with your career, with what it is that you are aspiring to do. There's gonna be a lot of expansion and growth in that department. Um, for a few of you, it could be related to love, but I'm just not picking up on that. Um, and also for a lot of you, it's gonna have a lot to do with your mental health and you growing and expanding in regards to becoming healthier in that regard, okay? All right. Can I have a message for group number three? fear based here guys now this fear based and this hanged man fear based is the reason why we get stuck right we get stuck when we are afraid we get stuck when we fear what is out there what is going to happen when i take myself down from this tree What's going to happen when I choose to get up and move forward? What's going to happen when I say I can no longer, like I can no longer comfortably stay in this tree. I have to move on because it's, it's hindering my development, right? The only reason why we stay here is because we're afraid. The only reason why we stay here is because we're afraid you guys. So do not allow fear to control your life. Do not allow fear of the unknown to control your life. Okay. Cause that's going to prevent you from literally living. And like I said earlier, that is a that's, that's you might as well you might as well be in prison we have giving and receiving all right giving and receiving group number three okay this is essentially talking about like where you're placing your energy where you place your energy is what's going to grow where you place your focus is what's going to grow if you choose not to focus on anything if you choose to spend your time doing frivolous things you are not going to see growth you're not going to see expansion guys okay so please 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 if you're wanting to receive something if you're wanting to receive love you need to focus on how you can make that happen Okay, you can't say I want to fall in love and then literally just expect somebody to like come up to you in a grocery store and be like, hey, you know, like obviously that's possible, but it's not probable, right? So if you are wanting to receive, you have to give, all right? 
just a little bit, just a little bit. See where that takes you. I, again, I feel like there's so many people in this world who say, I want this, I want that. And then they choose not to do anything. They choose not to move forward because they're afraid or because they're like, I just want it to come to me without me doing any of the work. And like, fair enough. But if that hasn't been working for you, then like, we got to try something different, right? If you can literally sit down and say, I want to manifest a million dollars and then there's a million dollars in your bank account the next day congratulations okay you are evolved all right but for the majority of people that is not the case you have to do a little spin you have to do a little effort if you're wanting to achieve that okay so giving and receiving if you're wanting to receive you got to give that's what i want to say with that can i have a message for oh. We have the thorn. This is protection, boundaries, and clear communication. The thorn, okay? We have the sacred union, beloved within, inner and outer relationships. So healing your inner and outer relationships. Again, for some of you, I feel like again, for like 10% of you, there is a possibility of you finding love in the next three months or developing your love in a higher capacity over the next three months. Um, however, again, I feel like for the most, for most of you, this is going to be like self-love and this is going to be growing in ways that we have desired in regards to our professional life or our life outside of our romantic partnerships. We have the return as well. This is a new story. You decide alignment. It's all coming together. A new story. You decide alignment. It's all coming together. In order to have a new story, right? You have to have a fresh start. You have to experience this death. We have the wild rose. Do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness untamed. All right, this is calling for you guys to free yourself, right? Untamed, free yourself. All right, let's... Can I get a message? We have despair and poverty. Despair and poverty. All right, guys. So this could be that feeling of stuckness. It doesn't have to literally be despair. It doesn't have to literally be poverty. But this could be that feeling of stuckness. When you are in this mindset of despair, when you're in this mindset of hopelessness, you feel stuck, right? When you are in poverty, which I grew up in poverty, it is a very trapped, stuck feeling, okay? So I feel like what this is representing is again, that energy, that feeling of a lack of progression, a lack of movement, a lack of things developing. So please group number three, the message you guys need to hear is you need to get up and make changes. You need to get up and change the things that you've been talking about changing. You can't just sit here anymore and wait for things to change. You have to get up and do something, okay? Okay. I want to get a shadow work card for you guys really quick. Can I please get a shadow work card? All right. We have self-absorbed, and this is not for everybody, but this is for some of you watching this. This is self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. Okay, so you know those people, and I'm not saying this is you, it could be, but you know those people where like everything and literally everything is about them. You have a conversation and they find a way to bring it back to them. You could have literally the worst things going on in your life and you're like, hey, I need to call my friend Ashley. You call up Ashley and Ashley's like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm so sorry. Well, anyways, blah, 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 my life, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's like Ashley. Ashley, hello like are you serious okay so being self-absorbed right the way that we heal this the way that we move on from this is through pouring our love and energy and empathy into other people okay by taking away the like me 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 aspects of our lives and trying to relate more and be empathetic and treating people the way that we would want to be treated right very basic stuff we have resisting change and this i think is for the large majority of you this is ask yourself why you are not wanting to change look at the positive side to changes 
here's the thing guys right change is always uncertain like when we're saying i'm going to change this i want to change that there's always a level of uncertainty and that is why i believe so many people fear change is because it's like i don't know like is this going to work out is it not and i just want you guys to know group number three that this change can only benefit you okay and then we have fearful and i think again this is for the large majority of you um it says a learned behavior can be unlearned also a low vibrating feeling that creates limitation for you and future happiness that is what fearfulness is right it's preventing you it's holding you back from your future happiness it's holding you back from the potential that you possess to be living the life that you want to live do not allow fear to rob you of your happiness because i promise you guys 100 percent, if you give into this if you don't ever fight against this fear you 100 percent will have your happiness robbed okay or the level the potential for you to be the happiest version of yourself that will be completely robbed from you okay can i have a message for group three perfect okay so over the next three months it's important that you guys keep an open mind it says your soulmate may differ from your from your usual type and expectations i feel like this is oftentimes the reason why most people do not end up with their soulmate because they are very stuck in their shallowness and they're very stuck in their i like this i this is exactly what i want and i will not settle for anyone who has like this small minute imperfection right people are imperfect so be open-minded over the next three months and this is just not to do with your soulmate and with your love life but be open-minded when it comes to a multitude of things be open-minded when it comes to change right we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations help bring you together and then we have passion which i think is probably one of the most important cards that have shown up today allow your heart and soul to sing with joy allow your heart and soul to sing with joy allow yourself to be happy do not hold yourself back group number three from experiencing happiness do not hold yourself back group number three from experiencing passion because you're afraid okay please open yourself up over the next three months group three can i get a message final message for group three about the next three months Okay, interesting. This showed up in the last pile as well. This is ancestral patterns, and this is talking about essentially um, the love and the legacy of our DNA. I see this as breaking ancestral patterns, okay? Generational curses, if you will. So if you, and this is so hard to do, like I feel like it's so difficult for people to do this, to take an honest look at themselves and be like, I am acting like my mother, or I am acting like my father. Um, so with this card, group three, I think it's really important, again, that you guys take a step back and evaluate yourself and evaluate how it is that you can make changes. Evaluate perhaps the patterns that you see within your own ancestral line that you believe need or you want to change. And then we have skeleton and this is strength so this is obviously just letting you guys know that you are strong and that you are capable of experiencing this transformation you are capable of letting go of this fear one more can i get a final message i'm gonna put these two back we have black cat fortune meets opportunity all right fortune meets opportunity so when fortune meets opportunity group number three only those who are brave enough to take it are going to be those who benefit from it right <clears throat> if you choose to stay in the tree if you choose to keep resisting change if you choose to keep resisting progression you're not going to meet this fortune there's not going to be an opportunity because you're stuck in a tree so i think the overall message for you guys group three is very simple embrace change over the next three months get out of the tree move okay do not keep yourself stuck in a position that you are unhappy in because it's comfortable 
the biggest thing for you guys to take is evolution is positive, change is positive, and you can only find your ultimate happiness if you continue to evolve and you continue to change. So please, again, do not allow fear and change to scare you, group three, especially over the next three months, because I do believe that you guys will have opportunities that have the potential to be life-changing in a really positive way, but you won't be able to experience that if you continue to just stay stagnant. So that's what I have for you guys, group three. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to read for you today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are looking for personal readings, description box, you can email me or message me on Etsy if they're out of stock. It may take me a while to get back to you, but I will eventually get back to you. Thank you guys. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. All right. Bye.